It is no surprise that vaccines and health care dominated discussions today between the Prime Minister and the Premiers. Much of it comes down to money, and there's never enough. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, has his ear on these talks. David. Yeah, really, Donna, it, just two topics in front of the First Ministers today. They spent the morning going over details of the vaccine rollout plan. And then after lunch, the discussion got a little more pointed. And that is how one participant described it as the premiers tried unsuccessfully to get Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to commit to giving the provinces a combined $28 billion extra next year for health care. Unfortunately, despite the premier's unanimous demand, Justin Trudeau refused to commit to substantially increase health transfer. He said that it was premature because of the COVID-19 situation to have this discussion. We think that it's more important than ever. Now, we heard the same kind of statement from Saskatchewan Scott Moe, Ontario's Doug Ford, but Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said he is ready to put more money into Canada's health care system, but he would not commit to the Premier's demand. So it looks like those pointed discussions are going to continue. Donna? David, Quebec has said it wants the first bio, vi, Pfizer BioNTech vaccines to go to residents in long term care homes. Other provinces say that's not feasible because that vaccine is so tricky to keep frozen and move around. What more have we learned about that? Yeah, this is really interesting. And it is something all the provinces are grappling with because all the provinces have put vaccinating residents of long term care homes right at the top of their vaccination priority list. But the problem is, those residents really cannot be moved, and Pfizer-BioNTech does not recommend sending vaccination teams into homes, exactly for the reasons you said. Their vaccine requires extra cold storage, very special handling instructions. And so provinces right now are trying to figure out how to do this with the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. We expect that it, it will be able to be broken down and transported in limited ways, um, perhaps in the next couple of weeks. Now, the backup plan is waiting for that Moderna vaccine. Wait until that's approved because that's the vaccine that is easier to work with and vaccination teams could take that into long-term care homes. Now, on that front, premiers were told to expect their first shipments of that Moderna vaccine early in the new year. And that's important because it is the Moderna vaccine that is going to be the one that goes to the three northern territories and to remote indigenous communities. Donna? Okay, important information. David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.